Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a 2023 Buick Envision to show you and this one's quite luxurious. Now, if you follow the channel, then you know I have not done a video on any trim level of the Buick Envision. However, keep an eye out for some of the other trims as well, in addition to this Avenir one. However, this is the vehicle that got heat a few years ago when it was released in its first generation for being built in China. Now, some people have said that being built in China will cause quality issues over time, and just the overall build quality initially is not going to be as good as some of the other locations. And of course, it's always nice to support vehicles built here in North America or in the United States for that matter. However, the quality aspects or the concern over quality are not a big deal as far as this vehicle go. Now for 2023, they did not change very much on the Envision as a whole. They got rid of a few exterior color options and added a few new ones and made a couple other small tweaks to packaging as well, which I'll go ahead and put up on the screen so you guys can read now. Uh, but overall, it's going to be a carryover from 2022. So for 23, the colors that are no longer available are satin steel metallic and burnished bronze metallic. And those are being replaced by white frost tricoat and moonstone gray metallic. And as far as pricing goes for the 23 mod year, I found relatively modest price increases across the lineup, anywhere between a couple hundred dollars to about 1500 or so. Again, depending on the trim level, but overall price increases are very modest. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Take a look at what the 2023 Buick Envision Avenir has to offer. So the Envision Avenir in front of us is finishing the ebony twilight metallic exterior color. And this one has the whisper beige leather interior. It's a very nice metallic black color. You can kind of see the flake here in the sunlight. This one has the technology package too, which features the enhanced functionality LED headlights. But LED lighting will come standard on the Avenir. So you have LED projector high beams as well as the low beams. LED daytime ring lights and turn signals below the headlight assembly there. No fog lights, but it does have front parking sensors and the front camera for the 360 camera system red white and blue buick emblem that they changed a few years ago and lots of chrome trim because this is more of a luxury oriented vehicle so it does look very stylish and i am a huge fan of the second generation envision styling now this one does have paint match body cladding along the lower portions of the vehicle so that is a nice premium touch too coming to the wheels and tires these are your 20 inch alloy wheels as part of the avenir trim they are wrapped in 245 45 20 inch Continental Pro Contact TX all season tires. Nice solid all season for sure. Paint match mirror caps with your camera for the surround vision camera system. They are going to be heated. It is auto dimming driver side as well as the interior one. And they do have blind spot detection as well. Proximity entry on all four door handles. And here in the side profile, you can see just how much chrome accent trim there is around the lower portions, around the windows, as well as the roof rails on top. Out back, you will find the exclusive Avenir clear LED taillights. I do think this is a nice touch. It lends it to kind of differentiate it versus the rest of the lineup. So these are going to be full LED taillights, LED turn signals with LED reverse lights. Find more chrome trim along the bottom of the bumper with some silver metallic kind of accent there in the middle. Rear parking sensors, rear backup camera. Of course, the same red, white, and blue Buick emblem. And then your Avenir badge, which again is the top trim here in the Envisions lineup. Definitely a very nice looking back end. Like I said, this is a very handsome looking SUV. Now, before we take a look at the interior, I want to show you guys the window sticker on this exact vehicle so you guys know exactly all the features and options that this one is equipped with. So I do want to put a disclaimer out there that this is technically a 2022 modular vehicle. However, there are no major changes or anything like that. So this particular Avenir has the technology package too, which features the adaptive cruise control, the enhanced LED headlights, as well as the continuous dampening control, the panoramic sunroof, as well as the ebony twilight metallic, which is an extra cost color. And then finally, the safety package, which for 2023, I believe this equipment was made standard, so it's no longer a separate option on the Envision in general, which brings the total MSRP for this particular vehicle to $47,080. And this might go up slightly for the 2023 mod year, given that they all did get a slight price increase. So take a look on the interior of this particular Envision. This one has the whisper beige interior, like I said, and it is more of a two-tone look. So it has kind of the dark black uppers with the light beige lowers. Starting out here on the door panel, you will find soft touch upper door panels with a leather stitch armrest, of course. Power windows, mirrors, and locks with two person memory seating for the driver's side. Power lift gate, which does have programmable height, as well as the Bose premium audio system. A little bit of extra storage as well. 
but definitely a nice looking door panel for sure. Come in the seat, this is a power driver's seat, but there's no power lumbar adjustment it looks like. You have white accent piping on the outside with that nice kind of unique patterned insert. Kind of a diamond quilted look to it, definitely very nice. And you do have the avenir stitch in the headrest. So we'll go ahead and step inside and start it up. So immediately you're greeted to the partially digital, partially analog gauge cluster. So you have an analog speedometer as well as tachometer on the left side. And the rest of the center portion is going to be a digital cluster that you can control here on the right side of the steering wheel. So kind of cycling through here, it does display a lot of useful information. I'm not gonna go through all of the details, but there are many different screens as well as you can put the navigation up there and some of the uh, settings for the vehicle as a whole. You can see across the top there, there's a ton of information being displayed as well as your all wheel drive, your outside temp, it's current speed limit on the road, the digital speed readout, the time, as well as some of your other safety systems. So a lot of information can be displayed from that center screen there. This is going to be a leather wrapped steering wheel with kind of white accent stitching. It's going to be heated, and this one does have adaptive cruise control, so you can set your gap settings right there. It does have paddle shifters on the back, and it also has paddles to control the volume as well as the seek functionality from the infotainment. And on the right side, you have your voice command as well as your phone settings, so pretty similar and very familiar GM steering wheel. Automatic high beam assist here on the left side, regular wiper stock on the right side. To the left of the steering wheel, you will find your heads up display controls as well as your automatic headlights and gauge dimming. So here via the heads up display, you can enable it, kind of move it up and down, change some of the stuff that is displayed up on it, including your tachometer speed, some of your safety systems as well. So very nice stuff. Very nice to see a heads up display available on this vehicle. Moving over to the infotainment system, this is the 10.2 inch HD color touchscreen with built in navigation. This is very familiar to the one found in the Chevy Tahoe and Suburban as well. So it has very familiar layouts here, it has built in XM, AM, FM, USB, Bluetooth inputs, wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, Wi Fi hotspot via 4G LTE. You can even monitor some of the air quality with this particular vehicle, so you can see parts per million there. Uh, it says we're in good status control some of the climate settings on there, as well as some of the physical controls down below. So this is a very familiar, very easy to use infotainment. You have your hard touch volume and tune knobs and a dedicated home button. So all that stuff is nice to see. AC vents below the screen, as well as your dual zone automatic climate control, heated and ventilated front seats. So that is nice. And uh, it is kind of interesting to see all of these arrows, these red and blue arrows across there. Kind of does look a little bit confusing, but these outside ones are for your seats and the inside ones are for the dual zone automatic climate. Below that, you do have a little storage cubby that you can kind of retract the lid on, USB-A and USB-C inputs, SD card slot for the built-in navigation. There's a 12 volt outlet and then your phone wireless charging pad. I would say that is slightly on the smaller side of things. I guess I can go ahead and put my 13 Pro in here so you guys can get a little bit of reference. It fits without issue. I guess if you have one of the largest phones on the market, that might get a little snug in there, but it is nice to see you can go ahead and close it up, uh, cover it up, get it out of the way. Here's your stop start on off, hill descent control, lane keeping assist, traction control off. This is your automatic parking assist as part of that technology two package, and then your parking sensors on off right there. This does have push pull gear selection, similar to some of the other Buick and GM products on the market. I would rather have it in this location rather than some of the GMC products that kind of put it up here at the front of the console. I think this location or up on the dash kind of makes a little bit more sense than that lower console section. Two cup holders with some chrome bright work, and this is your key fob for this particular GM model. Now I do kind of like the smaller Buick key fob. This is the one found on some of the Chevy products as well. See a little Buick emblem on the back. It is just a little bit bigger than that other GM key fob like on the Enclave and some of the other Buick products, but very useful stuff, remote start as well as your power tailgate on there, typical stuff. Electronic parking brake on the back as well as your drive mode select. So you can see this does have tour, all wheel drive, sport and off-road modes. So a good amount of selection for the all wheel drive system there. And below the console here, you will find little side cubbies on either side, so you have a little storage slot to put stuff in. This is not as large as the Acadia or the Hyundai Santa Fe for that matter, which kind of pass all the way through, but it is welcome to have some additional storage. And the console here is nicely padded, so I do like that. 
Moving over to the console lid, you can see this is a split design. It's nicely leather wrapped, soft touch. Opens like that. On the inside, there's no ports or lights or anything, but it is just nice to have some additional storage space in there. Coming up top to the headliner, this is a nice light beige headliner. It kind of matches the seats. LED vanity lights there. This one does have the digital camera mirror, again, as part of that technology package too. You can change it into a regular auto dimming mirror just by flipping that switch. Lots of adjustments here in terms of brightness, zoom level. You can move the view up and down. All that stuff is pretty traditional for the digital camera mirror from GM. OnStar and passenger airbag sensor up top. Sunroof controls, interior LED lighting, as well as three garage home link settings. We can see no sunglasses holder or anything up here with the center console. So that is a bummer that is going away in a lot of vehicles it seems like. Uh, but nice to have all that stuff up top. And you can see the panoramic sunroof in this particular model goes well back, all the way back to the second row seat. So lets in a lot of additional light and is definitely very large. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat. See what the back seat has to offer in the Envision Avenir. The materials are going to follow through from the front and they should in a vehicle like this. So you have soft touch uppers, soft touch armrest here with the leather accent stitching. Same kind of faux wood trim that has a unique pattern there and some extra storage down below. Seats still have that kind of quilted accent stitching to them, which is nice. Stepanite is very good. And immediately stepping in, I can just feel how soft the seats are. But there's a look at the front dashboard. Out back, you will find AC vents in the back, and this one has the rear heated seats. Now, these are currently not activated, and there is a credit on the window sticker. However, that does include a later retrofit. USB-A and USB-C charging, as well as a 120-volt outlet. So great to have in the back seat. Matte pockets on both of the front seats. There's your panoramic center for once again. You can see it goes all the way back to the headrest there. This leather is a very nice material, very plush, very premium feeling, so that is nice. Two cup holders with center armrests, and the seats do fold 60-40 split, so very nice interior. You can see it is quite light in here. So if you have pets or anything that might kind of stain the material or uh, kind of get dirty over time, that is something to consider with this interior color. Now out back, you will find the power lift gate, of course. And behind the second row, you will find a very good amount of cargo capacity. Now you can see these are kind of unique floor mats with the Avenir stitching. They do look very luxurious with the multi-pile kind of black and gray color theme. LED lighting on either side of the inside, so that will light up this area plenty at nighttime. 12 volt outlet over here. And beneath the floor, you will find a temporary spare tire, so that is nice, and a little bit of additional storage on either side. So great to see all that stuff here in the back. You can definitely feel how nice this carpet feels versus some of the less expensive options on the market. You do have this kind of hard cargo shade that is removable as well. So good amount of cargo capacity behind the second row. Take a look at the passenger front seat. All the materials are gonna follow through over here as well. You do have a power passenger front seat. Glove box is damped, no LED lighting in there that I can see. And I guess I was mistaken, that console does actually go through as far as the storage goes. It's just not quite as big as some of the other options I've showed here on the channel. So that is nice to see. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood of this vehicle, see what powers it, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. So under the hood, you'll find a two liter turbocharged four cylinder that puts out 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque through either the front wheels or all four wheels if you option all wheel drive. And this is paired to a nine speed torque converted automatic. So this is the same powertrain found in vehicles like the GMC Acadia, as well as the Chevy Blazer in their base engine forms. Of course, those are larger and have the V6 as an option as well. Uh, but this is a very stout powertrain, definitely moves around the Envision without much issue and uh, suits this vehicle very well. So that's gonna do it for this video on the 2023 Buick Envision Avenir. Like I said, this is the most luxurious Envision you can option. And this one has most, if not all of the options available on the Avenir trim. So 
this is a pretty fully loaded vehicle. Again, pushing that $50,000 mark as equipped. So it is quite pricey again for this compact space of SUV. Uh, but I think it definitely shows some nice interior quality with materials and everything like that. If you guys found this video helpful or just enjoyed watching it, please hit that like button as it greatly helps out these videos and the channel. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I post. And check out some of the other content I have available here on the channel. Like I said, I have Buick, GMC, Chevy, as well as Hyundai brands for new vehicles on the channel. Hopefully we can expand that to other makes and models as well in the future. Uh, but for now, that is mainly what is going to be featured here on the channel as far as new goes. And if you haven't owned this generation Buick Envision or interested in purchasing one, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the vehicle. Do you think it's worth the price tag of nearly $50,000 as equipped? Or is there something else on the market that you would rather have for the money? Leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear it. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.